Okay, so in this lesson I'm going to look at uh, Newton's method and I'm going to use Excel to approximate successive uh, successively better approximations for this function. Okay, so we're going to try to use Excel. And I'm going to start with this initial guess. So I'm, what I'm trying to do here is find the roots of the function x squared minus 7. Okay, so let me just open an Excel file here. And I'm going to, the first thing I'm going to put in is just my first guess, which is 3. I'm just going to put that in as my first guess. Okay. And I'm going to then, you know, what I'm going to do is try to figure out what the function is. In fact, I'm going to put in the function and the derivative of the function as well. Okay, so let me put in the function here. The function was x squared minus 7. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in equals x squared, or in fact, x is just this value here, squared. Uh, minus 7. So that's the function. The second thing I'm going to put in is the derivative, which is, I said we said 2x, I'm just going to put in 2 times this value here. Okay, so the function evaluated at 3 is uh, 2, and the derivative evaluated at 3 is 6. Okay. So there's those two values essentially, 2 and 6. All right. The next thing I'm going to do is put in a value here. And this value I'm going to put in, I'm going to say is equal to, and this is important, it's the first value, x sub 1, subtract the function evaluated at x sub 1, that's that value, the function was equal to 2 when x was equal to 3, divided by uh, this value here, which is the derivative val evaluated when x equals 3. And I'm going to hit enter. Okay, And that's giving me that 2.6 recurring thing, which is exactly what we had in here, if you remember from the last video. 2.6 recurring. I wrote it as 8 over 3. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight these three things by just clicking in here and highlight this. And I'm going to drag this down as far as I want. Just drag, 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 drag. Okay. So what will happen here, what you're getting here is, notice that's 1 ninth and that's 5.3 recurring. Uh, that's my 1 ninth over here. 16 over 3 is my 5.3 recurring. That's my 1 ninth. That's my 16 over 3. What we're getting is 1, 9, 16 over 3, and then we're just, ju the, the Excel is just repeating the formula. Look, in this case, the first one here said it's cell A1 minus cell A2 divided by cell B2. It kind of reads automatically that this is, has to be following the pattern. This would be cell A3 minus cell uh, A4 divided by cell B4. So it's this one, subtract this one, divided by this one. Okay, this value here will be this, subtract this, divided by this. And what you're finding here is you're getting better and better and better approximations for root 7. And if I kind of change my rounding here, I don't know what to... I mean, let's look at rounding, 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 number, rounding. Uh, let's just go up to, I don't know, let's go up to, say, 15 decimal places, okay? And I'm going to look here at this last one. 2.6457513111. Okay. And if you type into your calculator root 7, you know, your your calculator will only approximate it to a certain number of decimal places. So I think your calculator only goes to there. But you can see in your calculator, if you type root 7, even after here, when we get to here, we've got the same accuracy as your calculator gives you. And that's only after... Uh, one, two, three, four iterations. Okay, so it doesn't take long to get a really, really good approximation of the root. So that's how I would use Excel uh, with Newton's method. Um, 
that is one way to do it. Remember one thing to remember when you're using Excel, if I put in 1 and then I put in 2, what Excel does is it just follows whatever pattern you've got in there when you highlight and drag. That's all I did there. I highlighted these three things and I wanted to follow the pattern where I took this number and then subtracted this number divided by this number. Let's drag it down and it just chain repeats the pattern. Okay. Oh. I've done something wrong there. I don't know what I did to change all that. Uh, oh. It's changed it's changed the input there for some reason. Okay. So that's how we use Excel with Newton's method.